Welcome back, everyone. We have more breaking news in the Seth Williams corruption trial. Let's get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos. He's live outside the federal courthouse in Center City. Greg. This really is a stunning fall from grace for now former district attorney Seth Williams. Judge Paul Diamond minutes ago ordering Seth Williams out in handcuffs. He is detained and will be detained until October 24th. That is when he will be sentenced for this one count. He just pled guilty for federal bribery charges. I want to bring in Joe Holden. Joe Holden and I have been covering this from the very beginning. Joe, this is just a stunning turn of events here. There was some speculation he could have been released to go home. October 24th, he, until October 24th, he will remain in federal custody. What was very interesting to me, Greg, was that how this unfolded. It is very usual. Actually, it, it is quite common that a defendant in this matter is allowed to go home. He remains free until sentencing. I mean, that is a standard operating procedure. While we're chatting here and while uh, since our last report, I actually went over to speak to Seth Williams security detail to inform them that the judge had in fact handcuffed Seth Williams and ordered him off to prison and his security detail who we see here day in and day out acknowledged they knew that that was a possibility and let, let's set the stage here the judge has made it known from day one he really doesn't like Seth Williams he does not like that Philadelphia's chief law enfor enforcement officer uh, put the office in such disrepute that he put the the, the standards of this office that is meant to hold people to account that he himself had been accused of such egregious crimes and the judge showed that day in day out here with his rulings and with the many motions and how the defense had been denied lots of evidentiary uh, ability here at this uh, proceeding. And Joe, the judge actually allowing Seth Williams to testify uh, to see if he could be released on his own recognizance uh, today before this October 24th, uh, after hearing the testimony where Seth Williams basically said he Seth Williams basically said he has turned in his passport. He only has about $150 to his name in his bank account. Well, the judge said this before detaining Seth Williams, the former district attorney here in Pennsylvania County. He, he says, you have betrayed your oath of office. You have sold your oath of office. I'm appalled by the evidence, and I do not believe anything you're saying. That is when he ordered the deputies inside the court to put handcuffs on now former district attorney Seth Williams and lead him off to federal prison. October 24th, once again, is when now former DA Williams will be sentenced for this federal corruption and bribery charges. That is the latest right now here from Center City. I'm Greg Argos along with Joe Holden. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Greg and Joe, for those updates. We look forward to your reports later on today on Eyewitness News.